Okay, so the printer's plugged in and ready to go, so I'm gonna turn this on for the first time, and I'm gonna connect it to Wi-Fi. Okay, it had me worried there for a second because that was an awfully long time, relatively speaking. Okay, plain black and white screen, eh, a little bit of color, but whatever. Settings, let's go to Wi-Fi, turn on Wi-Fi. Scanning. Of course it found my printer. All right. And put in a, oh, okay. So we got, so up here in the Wi-Fi, there's a number pad a letter pad and a symbol pad. The number pad is two screens. All right, so let's go for it. Okay, I finally got connected to the Wi-Fi after 15 minutes. A um, Couple issues. It, it seemed like when I was using my finger, if I had my, you know, I, I would just touch a letter um, or a number and it would repeat. So it, I kept getting Wi-Fi password wrong because it won't once you move put in a letter and then you move on to the next letter it hides the previous letters so you can't check your password to make sure you have it typed in correctly um well anyways i finally got connected using this pen right here and uh it found an updated version of firmware so it updated to restart the machine so i'll turn it off Okay, adjust servo angle to complete program upgrade. I have no idea what that means. Mm, let's see, updating firmware. Let's see if the manual. Copy the firmware, okay. All right, if there's a new firmware needed to be upgraded, press tap yes to upgrade. And the manual says nothing about adjusting, adjust servo angle. I don't know what that means, so I'm just gonna hit okay. Freaking horrible instructions. So we'll watch it take forever to home. These printers home so slow, it's ridiculous. So it's got this thing here on the menu. Well, let's, let's go start upward. I don't know what that means. I, I don't know what any of this means, so. There's no instructions, and it's not on their YouTube channel. So let's just go back. Go to control, move. Where the freak is the home? Oh, there it is, homing. Home right there, huh? Home and completed. Okay, well, let's. Uh... Okay, so the one video on YouTube, the only video, is from 3D Printer SOS. Uh, and so he just levels it, touches the build plate to the nozzle. Wait, whatever, let's let's just press the button and follow the instructions. Okay, we want to level. Pre-adjusting, please wait. And uh, my kid is uh, playing in the garage with me, so. Okay, unscrew corresponding nut under platform until touching the nozzle. So let me lower the camera so you can watch this. Okay, 
That's moving away. That's raising up. Man, it's hard to tell. Ah. Okay. You can barely see it. I'm so blind. Okay, so let me raise it up just a little bit. Let me get a flashlight. Okay, and just so you, let me show you what the instructions say. Unscrew corresponding nut under platform until touching the nozzle. So let me get a gap. Okay. And that looks like it's touching. Okay. Now I'm going to press complete. Okay. Looks like everything's homing. two-year-old moved tripod so calibration is stored extruder is homing level completed okay whether to heat the platform I don't know so we're gonna do the Z calibration now heat the platform yes We want to heat the platform, I guess. I, I don't know. So now we'll wait till the platform heats up. The bed is at 57. It's almost to 60 right now. So there's no information in the manual that comes with the printer on this Z calibration and how to do it. it. I found a YouTube video on the Voxel Lab YouTube channel and in the description it tells you what numbers to set this to for it to work. Um, I'll, I'll give them later on. I won't give them right now. but. It's just your typical piss poor instructions that come with something made in China. As always, the instructions are incomplete. And it would be better if the manual had 100% of the instructions. Don't freaking know what it's doing. It's just touching the, touching the nozzle to the bed. I'll have patience, see what, uh, maybe it'll do something else after this. Okay, I have my Wi-Fi connected 
and I wanted to update the firmware. So I go into settings, go to page two, go to upgrade, and it'll check. I've already done it. Um, but anyways, it updated it over firm over Wi-Fi, and then as soon as it updated the firmware, it popped up with a screen to adjust the servo. Now I could not, at the time, I couldn't find any information on that, what the hell that was. Um, but I did find a video on Vox Labs YouTube page, which trying to watch it and figure out what the hell the text says on a phone is kind of difficult. But anyways, I screwed it up. The servo arm wouldn't drop when it would do the Z calibration. So what the instructions, if you read the description of the video, what it says is to tap in the lower right corner of the blank space five times. Well, here's the blank space, but there's the bottom bar with the menu options. You actually type touch in the bottom bar where the back is. One, two, three, four, five. And this pops up. Okay, let's watch it do its thing. Why this is not in the manual just baffles me. Okay. It's so stupid. Now it's not in the it manual. says in the description that the downward angle, you just adjust the downward angle, okay, to be what to be 138 and the upward angle to be 85. Okay, so you can see the probe is sticking down. So this is supposed to be a starting point. So you should you need to adjust. Let's see. You adjust the angle. You want it to be up and down as much as possible. Um, let's see. Let's put it up. Drop it down. Okay, so these buttons are confusing. It says start downward, start upward. It actually means just lift the servo up. Okay, the servo is up. Now I'll move the servo down. The servo is down. So you see how that, you want that to be as vertical as you can get it. I may have gone past a little bit. Let me drop, let me put this back down to 145. Okay, put it up. Now I'm gonna put it down. Yeah, okay. So there it is. So now we can start. We've already leveled, hold on. We've already leveled the bed. I've already moved the nozzle. You saw that. So now we'll do Z calibration. I'm not gonna heat the bed because it ain't whatever. There's a video from Chep on YouTube that shows that the difference between tramming your bed or leveling, whatever you want to call it, when it's cool versus when it's hot is not, I mean, th th there's a difference, but it's not in such a way that it's going to screw up your prints. So I'm just going to do the calibration right now and we'll watch it do its thing. Go check out part three where we'll do our first prints and check out the quality of this printer. Thanks for watching.